Krishna, the Supreme God, Lord of the universe. Many names praise him. Allah, Jehovah, Buddha, Rama, Bhagavan. Infinite are his forms and pastimes. Fifty centuries ago, he spoke to his disciple Arjuna in the midst of battle. His immortal words, Bhagavad Gita, the song of God. Five hundred years ago, Krishna appeared again as Lord Chaitanya and propagated the congregational chanting of the Hare Krishna mantra. Lord Chaitanya predicted that the chanting of God's holy names would spread throughout the world. This science of Krishna consciousness has been passed from master to disciple down to the present day. In 1896, Bhaktivinoda Thakur first introduced these teachings to the West through his treatise on Lord Chaitanya. He predicted that a great personality would soon appear to spread Krishna consciousness throughout the world. Bhaktivinoda Thakur's son, Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati, a great scholar and devotee, followed in the tradition. His disciple, a boy Charande, was destined to fulfill the prophecies. Prepared by a lifetime of devotion, a boy Charan, now known as A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, sailed from Calcutta to New York in 1965. He was 70 years old and had neither money nor supporters, but he was bringing a priceless gift, spiritual life, love of Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. receiving the transcendental knowledge through Guru Parampara, succession. Uh, <clears throat> so we have to simply take instruction from Guru, and if we execute that to our uh, heart and soul, that is success. That is practical. Uh, I have no personal qualification, but I simply try to satisfy my Guru. That's all. Uh, my Guru Maharaj asked me that if you get some money, you print books. Therefore I am stressing on this point. So kindly help me. This is my request. Uh, print as many books in as many languages and distribute throughout the whole world. Then Krishna consciousness movement will automatically increase. The Bhagavad Gita. Morning and night, Srila Prabhupada translated the Vedic scriptures from Sanskrit and Bengali into English and wrote elaborate commentaries. These timeless books form the philosophical basis of the Hare Krishna movement. In the Kunti's prayer in Srimad Bhagavatam, Queen Kunti says, My dear Lord, you are existing outside and inside. Still, nobody can see you. Today, at Bhaktivedanta Book Trust publishing houses around the world, these literatures continue to be composed, laid out, and illustrated by devotees. Srila Prabhupada has described these paintings as windows to the spiritual world. From 1965 to his passing in 1977, Srila Prabhupada wrote over 70 books. 100 million have been distributed in 35 languages. Dr. Stilson Judah, Professor Emeritus in the History of Religions, comments on this contribution. The Hare Krishna movement, or the International Society for Krishna Consciousness, is a bona fide 
movement. It is a movement which is actually older than that of Christianity. The worship of Krishna is uh, one which is extremely popular in India. It is one of the great religions of India uh, at the present time as it has been throughout all of the years of history. The founder of the Hare Krishna movement, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, was commissioned by his spiritual master to come to America to spread the teachings of Chaitanya. This he has accomplished very well. And during the period of his life, Prabhupada has made a great impression upon the people here in the United States, uh, not only through his great scholarship, but because of the great spiritual qualities of the man himself. Uh, Prabhupada is known throughout the world as a great scholar and has published vast numbers of books which he has translated and have introduced many of them for the first time here to the people in the Western world. His works are remarkable because not only are they beautiful in the way that they have been translated, but I think they express the real spiritual quality of the Hare Krishna movement. And uh, it is for this reason that his works are now found in the various universities and libraries, not only in the United States, but also throughout the world. In Mayapur, West Bengal, villagers chant the holy names of God as they have for centuries. teachings are simple. Every living being is essentially spiritual, a servant of God. Designations based on race, sex, religion, and nationality are all temporary. To realize one's eternal nature, one need only chant the names of God. This is the essence of Krishna consciousness, and it goes on throughout the world. From Paris to Hong Kong, from Bombay to Nairobi, from Rio to New York, devotees chant Hare Krishna, just as Lord Chaitanya predicted. in Fiji take their first look at Back to Godhead magazine. In California, students get a taste of Krishna consciousness from a toddler. Rukmini Devi Dasi explains why she joined the Hare Krishna movement. I first met Srila Prabhupada in Montreal in 1968, and I remember I was deeply moved by his singing. I was also struck by the fact that he didn't reject other religions. He explained that real religion is any religion that teaches one how to love God. Over the years, I've found that I can apply Krishna consciousness to every aspect of my life. Now I have a family, and part of my day is spent working as a proofreader with our book publishing house. For me, the existence of God is no longer a subject for argument or debate, but a joy that I can directly perceive each day. In Calcutta, an open-air temple. American-born Srila Jayapataka Swami speaks in native Bengali. Rastra Sangha, United Nations of the Spiritual World. The Festival of the Chariots, 
a 2,000-year-old tradition, is celebrated annually in major cities worldwide. John Mastami, the appearance day of Lord Krishna. At Bhaktivedanta Manor, outside London, pageantry and color greet the Lord's advent. Touring England, a unique trailer. Inside, a temple designed and constructed by devotees. No one can say he lives far from the temple, for tomorrow it may be at his doorstep. And when it arrives, a festival, with plays based on the Vedic scriptures. Nara Haridas, president of the Honolulu Temple, is preaching Krishna consciousness throughout the Hawaiian Islands in a 54-foot sailboat. He explains why he joined the Krishna consciousness movement. I was always a little interested in yoga and meditation. But when I began reading Srila Prabhupada's books, that's when my life actually began to transform. Also, when I started to associate with the devotees and perform devotional activities, I learned that I didn't have to give up any of the previous activities that I enjoyed doing, but instead I could satisfy them all in Krishna consciousness. One of my special interests was human anatomy and physiology which I graduated in over 11 years ago. But then I found that the science of Krishna consciousness goes so much deeper into the subject than any of the medical colleges because it explains not only how the body works, but why it works. Since I was a little boy, I was also very attracted to sailing and the tropics with its warm weather, beautiful fruits and flowers and crystal clear oceans. So when this sailboat was donated to our society, we decided to transform it into a floating temple and travel from island to island, distributing the pure message of love of God. Hari Krishnaland, Juhu Beach, Bombay. Here, a unique cultural center, the society's largest. The main attraction, deities of the Supreme Lord and his eternal consort, Sri Sri Radha Rasa Bihari and Sita Ram. Dioramas depict the pastimes of the Lord. Devotees study traditional dances which reenact Krishna's pastimes. In the Hare Krishna theater, the popular Vijanti Mala gives a benefit performance. In India, the home is often a temple where the whole family worships. Now many Western families are adopting this tradition. Marco Farini owns and runs one of the largest design houses in Italy. Not far from Pisa, he, his family and parents share a home, which is also a small temple. Here he leads the chanting and conducts morning classes. He explains that progress is not measured by the advancement of technology, but by advancement in self-realization. Everyone is welcome to associate with devotees and make advancement in spiritual life. In 1970, Srila Prabhupada launched the Life Membership Program. Members receive the society's publications and free lodging and food in the temple guest houses worldwide. A 
traditional Vedic fire sacrifice. Initiates vow to abstain from meat-eating, intoxication, gambling, and illicit sex, and to chant Hare Krishna daily. Then they are accepted as disciples by one of Srila Prabhupada's disciples. Thus the chain of disciplic succession continues. Here in Australia, devotees are married at a similar ceremony. Husband and wife agree to cooperate in serving Krishna together and to raise Krishna-conscious children. Krishna consciousness is natural for the children. They happily put Krishna in the center of their life. Tusti Devi Dasi, who has been teaching for more than 10 years, speaks of her experience in Los Angeles. Our Krishna conscious system of education is unique. It combines the traditional academic subjects with the practical knowledge of spiritual life. Because we teach our children to love Krishna or God, they naturally develop all good qualities, and they're very eager and enthusiastic to learn. Srila Prabhupada has given us the effective formula for teaching the children, and that is simply to love them. And by this love, they respond with good behavior. We don't have any problems with discipline. The methods have proven effective. The average student reads three grades above standard, and Sanskrit, as well as English, is taught. Only by undivided devotional service. Only by can I be understood as I am? Can I be understood as I am? Krishna can be understood only by the process of undivided devotional service. He explicitly explains this in this verse, so unauthorized commentators who try to understand Bhagavad Gita by the speculative process will know that they are simply wasting their time. In this verse in the Bhagavad Gita, it indicates that God has a form. So how can we understand that God has a form, Ratha? Because he's, we're coming from him, and he's a supreme, and we have a form, so God also has to have a form because he's, he's the absolute, and he has everything, even more quantity than we do. That's right. How is it that we can't understand God with our own senses? Dr. Rupa? We can't even understand what's going on in the next room, so, so how can we understand God who's unlimited? Uh, the limited can't understand the limits of the unlimited. There are over 20 schools worldwide. This one, Bhaktivedanta Guru Kul in Vrindavan, India, can accommodate 500 students. Whatever propensities the children have are encouraged. And they worship in one of Vrindavan's most popular temples, the Krishna Balaram Mandir, built by the International Society for Krishna Consciousness in 1975. In a nearby forest, the boys compete in Kit Kit, a team game of tag. Krishna's land, Vrindavan, and Krishna's favorite animals, the cows and calves. A perfect atmosphere for remembering Krishna, a perfect place to grow up. This Vrindavan atmosphere is duplicated in many rural communities, like this one, a 700-acre farm outside Madrid, Spain. Sand from caves on the farm is mixed with other ingredients and used for construction. The philosophy? 
Plain living, spiritualized by high thinking. Human society flourishes by nature's gifts, not by industrial enterprises. By defying nature's arrangement, man is entrapped in her reactions, earthquakes, droughts, famine, and war. By acting in harmony with nature, man can achieve peace and prosperity. In the Philippines, devotees remember the Lord by chanting his holy names before starting their day's activities. Mild climate and fertile soil allow almost anything to grow. Local devotees teach their Western god brothers how to fashion split bamboo into family bungalows. In Pennsylvania, we asked Paramananda Das about the purpose of the farming community there. The main purpose is to show cow protection. Cow protection means to treat the cows and the bulls in their natural position. Cow is the mother because she provides milk, which we use as a mainstay of our diet. Milk, cheese, yogurt, butter. And the bull is like the father because he tills the fields, produces grains for us to keep body and soul together. We are taking our oxen at a very young age, training them how to work, and demonstrating that they are useful and they can actually replace all the modern machinery. We consider ourselves to be servants of Krishna, servants of God. By pleasing Krishna, living according to his laws, that is our natural position, and so we're very happy in that position. And not just us, but also the cows and the bulls. 4,000 miles to the south, in a fertile valley in Brazil, another Hare Krishna country ashram. Here, Angira Munidas, the school headmaster, lives with his wife. He checks the Portuguese translation of Srila Prabhupada's books. Devotees are developing this 300-acre farm into a self-sufficient community. The crops grow year-round, and the wealth is not in money or machines, but in land, cows, vegetables, and grains, and the peace of living naturally in a God-conscious community. Like everything else, the flowers and garlands are offered to Krishna, the center of this farming community. A chateau in France, now a temple, is home for many artists and craftsmen, like Sadashiva Priyadas. I was uh, taught this job by my father, who himself is a potter in uh, in Anjou, in a small uh, village of France. Even though I had started my study, I came back to this job because I was looking for a, a way out of this society, of this modern materialistic way of life. And then practicing yoga also and trying to purify my life, I came to meet the devotees, to read Srila Prabhupada's book, and now by the grace of Krishna, I can dedicate this in Krishna consciousness. We should dedicate all our activities to, to the Supreme Lord and nothing belongs to us and I find myself doing this now for, for Krishna in this community. So this is very simple, very natural way of life. Throughout history, artists and craftsmen have used their talents to glorify God. In the world of Hare Krishna, that tradition continues. In all temples, intricate clothes for the deities of the Supreme Lord are made by hand. In 1973, Srila Prabhupada sent 15 of his artists to Mayapur, West Bengal, to learn the ancient but dying art of earthen doll making. These artists formed the first American transcendental exhibition 
dedicated to depicting Krishna's pastimes and philosophy through dioramas. This is Krishna's universal form, an exhibit at the Los Angeles Museum. Another popular exhibit, our changing body. Bhagavad Gita explains that the body is constantly changing, but the soul within doesn't change. The soul passes on to another body at death. The self-realized soul is not bewildered by this change. Anything can be used to serve Krishna, including advanced media technology, to broadcast Krishna consciousness worldwide. Traditional paintings by devotees from the Bhaktivedanta Trust Collection here exhibited at the Indian Consulate in New York. New Vrindavan in West Virginia. 3,000 acres of rolling hills. One of them amazingly adorned with a splendid memorial, Srila Prabhupada's palace. Designed and constructed entirely by devotees, Prabhupada's palace is a labor of love, the love of the disciples for their spiritual master. Visitors are drawn to the palace from throughout the world. Srila Kirtanananda Swami explains the project he initiated. Well, in the first instance, we built uh, the palace because we wanted a home for Prabhupada so he could come and stay in our community. And after he left us, of course, we wanted to turn it into a, a memorial, something that would give some visual uh, understanding of what Prabhupada meant to us. I think one of the amazing things about Prabhupada's palace is how it has come about, how it has actually been done. When we began, we didn't know how to build anything. We didn't even know how to lay up a block. We had no architectural plan. We didn't even have an idea of anything like this. The fact is, it is built by Krishna. Rather than do it himself, he likes to work through his devotee. Time magazine called the palace a spiritual Disneyland, magnificent. The New York Times said, a vision of spectacular opulence, a miracle of creation. And Life magazine added, tourists can come and be amazed. Prabhupada's palace is only the beginning. Soon seven temples will crown new Vrindavan's hilltops for the glorification of Sri Krishna. All that you do, Krishna says, as well as all that you eat, should be offered unto me. So devotees blend spices with milk products, vegetables, grains, and fruits, according to timeless recipes and prepare hundreds of tasty dishes. Although Krishna, as the Supreme Lord, owns everything, he gladly accepts offerings made with love and devotion. In Florence, Italy, 
As in all temples, prasadam, or Krishna's mercy, is freely distributed, especially on Sundays. Differences of age, nationality, race, and religion disappear before these transcendental delicacies. Prasadam is also served here, off Oxford Street in the heart of London. The 40 Hare Krishna restaurants throughout the world only serve food that has been offered to Krishna. Never meat, fish, or eggs, as Krishna will not accept these. Krishna Prasadam is also distributed throughout India. When there is no hoarding, there's no scarcity. God provides for all. Here in Mayapur, West Bengal, thousands receive kitri, a hearty combination of split peas, vegetables, and rice. Guests here in Mayapur are lodged in the longest building in Bengal. The presiding deities are their lordships, Sri Sri Radha Madhava. Mayapur is especially honored as the birthplace of Lord Chaitanya. Each year, devotees from five continents gather in Mayapur to celebrate Lord Chaitanya's appearance five centuries ago. His legacy? The eternal science of Krishna consciousness has been passed on to us by Srila Prabhupada. Gyanadas, Oxford University graduate and member of the Bhaktivedanta Institute, explains the importance of this knowledge. Lord Krishna spoke Bhagavad Gita, not only to a particular person at a particular time, but to all people for all time. The Hare Krishna people are dedicated to realizing and distributing this knowledge, by which any sincere person can become self-realized, a lover of God. Krishna consciousness offers a blueprint for the future, a society with God in the center, a peaceful society. Chanting, dancing, philosophizing, and feasting. This is the world of Hare Krishna. Krishna, 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 Hare, Hare.